filling without the apple and and uh, fill up the the corners as best I can. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another tablespoon or so of the oat mixture and bake it for 30 minutes is what the recipe said. Now, I searched a few recipes and, and the most simplest one I found was, sorry guys, I had had some technical difficulties, but yeah, this is all, this is it with the, um, the oat mixture um, on the top. And I don't know if I'm supposed to put this on the pan or maybe I better. Let me find a a baking pan to put it on. So, I don't know how you guys do this with, with one hand. All you people that do the, so yeah. And I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes because I'll forget that um, it's in there. Okay, everybody, this is the first meal of the week. So, so this is the cranberry chicken. Um, tastes pretty really good. You know, it, it gives you the, um, makes you think about Thanksgiving. I guess that's why I went ahead and paired it with the collard greens and cornbread. So anyway. <laughs> Girl, kick him over there. <laughs> That's the ankle of this. Anyway, back to our regularly oh, scheduled <laughs> program. <laughs> hey, stop it. Let him go on that floor. He's probably get it out of that thing right there. Oh. And rice and gravy. And... Crystal light, and there it goes. So, this is my plate compared to this plate. Okay, you see the size? Um, and so this is my chicken thigh with um some of the cranberries, and I'm gonna get a little of these greens. Let's see. Can't see it. Okay. We'll get a few of these. I don't think I'm gonna I don't ever eat as much as I think I'm gonna eat. So just gonna put a little spoonful on. <sighs> yeah, that's it, y'all. So this is this is my plate and I have um the apple crisp in the oven. So we're going to see how that comes out. And we're going to eat that a little bit later when I'm ready to eat again. So I'll have room for everything, right? Um, all right. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Um, let's see. It's about 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's about 7 o'clock, and no, ma'am. I decided I decided to make or uh, try to make some protein ice cream with my apple crisp. So this is my third round of bringing it out. I need to go sit down. Thank you. Yeah, this is my third round of bringing it out, and this is how it looks now. Um... I tasted it, and it tastes pretty good. Uh-oh, my, oh, uh, let's see if I can get this off of here. This is my, the first time I, okay. So now it's really hard. I think this is going to be my last time putting it in. 
Um, yeah. So just scrape. I'm going to pause it. When I bring it back, you'll see it smooth. Okay? Be right back. Okay, guys. So I got up a scoop. And if I must say so myself, it's delicious. This is my scoop. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to do maybe a, you know, a small scoop full about that much. Let me get my, um, so the apple crisp, it came out of the oven a couple of hours ago, so I had to warm it up again. Um, this is the finished product of the apple. Now, this is one of those um, oven safe, dishwasher safe, and, uh, and microwave safe um, porcelain dishes. And as you can see, it's the size of my hand. It's, it's oval and it's, you know, a small dish. And I, um, I also got it from a Dollar Tree. So, I mean, it was only a dollar. And I had been looking for ramekins, and wow, I couldn't believe it. I found this. So I said, when I saw it, I was going to make casseroles and all that good stuff. Y'all, it's bedtime, so, you know, head rag. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to scoop out maybe a third of it. See if I can. I need a tripod. So, yeah. About a third. Looks good. So we're going to do that. And a scoop of the ice cream on the side. Kind of scared to put this back in the fridge because I'm sure it uh, won't be worth eating if, if it stays in the fridge. But it's a good consistency now. And I doubt if I eat all of it tonight. I don't know what to do. What do you guys do when you have a lot of the ice cream left? I don't know. It's a good consistency now. Um, I guess I'll put it in another one of my um, containers and Stick it back in the fridge and uh, let's see what happens. I think someone is not paying attention because I said go sit down. Go. So, yeah, the kids are getting a little cabin fever today. They're going to be home again tomorrow. Then they have like furlough days at a, uh, oh, it's melting already, y'all. Let me go before it's a mess. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys what I've done because I had to find something to, you know, my after dinner snack, right? So that's my dinner um, I showed you guys before in the beginning of the video, and this is my dessert. There you go. Okay, y'all take it easy.